Uh, we continue to with the conversation on leadership and the fact that leadership matters. No one should ever deceive you. It doesn't it's telling you it doesn't matter what kind of leader you have. The kind of leader you have will determine how well your organization, how well your business, how well the church, how well the government department, how well, uh, whether you talk about uh, positions that are carried by politicians, how well they are able to, to, to work towards the benefits of the people they lead. So leadership matters. We already covered the aspect of calling that one has to know and say, I know God has called me to lead. I have a calling to fulfill in my leadership responsibility. But the second C, the second C is uh, competence. Competence. Competence has to do with skills. And I'm reminded of the passage of scripture in the book of Psalm 78 and verse number 72 where we have a reference that is given the credibility of the leadership of David, the fact that he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Skill. Skill will enhance competence and competence will be able to help you deliver on the things that you have promised to deliver. I'm reminded of the scripture that talks about the fact that uh, uh, and, and I believe this is a proverb that talks about the, the importance of the sharpness of the axe in being able to bring down a tree. But when it is blunt, you will work so hard and you will, not be, you, will, you will not be able to bring down the tree. So what am I saying? For you to lead effectively, you need to develop your skills. And one of the ways of developing your skills is committing to study, especially study the principles of good leadership. Because there are principles. Yeah, there are principles of good leadership. And, and you need to, to know them and apply them. And that is what will be able to advantage you as a person to be able to uh, achieve the desired goals of an organization. So are you competent as a leader? Do you read? I'm told those people within the legal profession, those within the medical science, they are supposed to participate in certain refresher courses that keeps them uh, at the edge, that keeps them uh, relevant to changing situations. And I believe that a leader of any sort should be disciplined on how they're going to improve their skills so they can lead effectively. Skills. Again, the scripture we have read, that David did feed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them according to the, uh, to the skillfulness of his heart, integrity of heart, skillfulness of hands. Develop your skills, develop and enhance your competence. Father, we thank you again for this critical aspect of leadership. We pray that God, we shall be known to be people who are effective because we are competent in Jesus' name.